Many Western New Yorkers are riding out, Ian, in southwest Florida and other parts of the state. Channel 2's Rob Hackford has heard from quite a few of them today and has more on how they're doing tonight. Rob. Yeah, Kelly, after that latest update, actually, some of these folks are in the midst of the worst part of the storm in the storm surge. Some are first timers, others are seasoned veterans to hurricane season, but almost all of them brought up the last hurricane, hurricane this size to hit the Gulf Coast, which was Michael in 2018. Folks like Victoria Ernst, who lives in Tampa, actually traveled yeah. south to her parents' house in Naples when the initial path of the hurricane had it making landfall further north. She's glad to be with family, but told me just a bit ago that the water around their house in Naples was rising quickly. While Victoria did not evacuate, Carol Harvey, who spends winter on the east coast of Florida, is actually hosting some relatives who did evacuate from Venice, Florida, just north of where Ian hit the coast. So they traveled over yesterday with the evacuation orders and um, I invited them to come here and stay with me because we thought it would be a little bit safer, um, at least avoid the storm surge. But as it got closer, you know, it starts to sink in, you know, you might not have power, you might not have, you know, the things that you're used to every day. So it's, it's a little more scary than I thought it would be. A lot of wind, a lot of rain, and then uh, the storm surge is the big concern here. We're expecting to get up to... 12 feet. 12 feet of storm surge in our area. Yeah, Trevor, who you just heard from there, is down in Benita Springs visiting his grandfather. He went to the Bills game and was actually supposed to fly out this morning. That did not happen, so they will be riding out their first hurricane. Lending a hand as well, Trevor did say they were able to help out a couple neighbors who live up north during the summer, bringing in some furniture and making things are all tied down down in Benita Springs. In the studio, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.